This video will show how to work with the Magic Wand Line Tool of Stitch Artist 3. This tool works well on bitmap files with line art style drawings such as these graphics from Clipartopolis. When in create mode, we will choose image and open the JPEG file onto our design page. This is sized nicely for our 4x4 design so no adjustments to the graphic is nece are necessary. Select the Magic Wand Line Tool and I make sure that my sensitivity is a relatively low number since this is a very clean and simple graphic. When choosing any automated tool such as the Magic Wand Line, we want to be able to see what we are clicking on, so I hit the 6 key on my keyboard to zoom in to 600%. It is important that your mouse cursor is exactly on the line when you left click. Your cursor is actually a magic wand in the program and the very tip of the wand inside the fireworks spray is the selection point. When you do not click on the correct location, you will get an error message. We right click to exit out of using this tool and we'll look at our object list after dimming the background graphics so that we can see what we have created. This tool is different than the flood fill magic wand that creates objects based on region or color. This magic wand line tool will automatically path the line for you, so it not only creates the objects, but assigns different jobs to the objects that it creates. The three types of objects that are created and assigned stitch types are run, double, and return. Think of a run as a traveling stitch, which will be eventually covered by a return. A double is an object that is completed in one pass. The return is the top finishing stitch. Each object is named with this job in your object list. The first object is a run followed by a double. So let's zoom in and take a look at what was created automatically. I like to use this tool as the starting point of my digitizing, which means that the software has created objects that I can change up. For example, I don't want this little doohickey double, so I will select it, delete it, and reshape the other objects to compensate. Remember to move your starts and stops so that excess jumps or stitches are not added. Stepping through the objects will help you understand how the design is going to stitch out. The goal of the Magic Wand Line Tool is to create an outline design that has a look of a traditional double run outline embroidery design without excess jumps. The program uses the run object to create traveling stitches to get from point A to point B when it is unable to create a single object that can be assigned as a double run. A double run by definition will start and stop at the same point. Customizing what is created doesn't only mean deleting dorky details. You can also adjust and add more to make the resulting design more interesting to you. Each of the object types has specific stitch properties assigned to them, and they are linked to the corresponding Magic Wand line quick styles. The quick styles in level 3 are a time-saving feature in general, because each object has been automatically assigned its job via a quick style, so you can quickly change the look of your design. For example, what if you wanted the finishing or return stitch to be a bean stitch? Or, so that we can obviously see the change in this example, let's make it a stem stitch. Select one return object and make the adjustments to the stitch properties. Go to your quick style list and the return has an asterisk next to it, meaning that this particular object does not have the same properties of the other return objects. Choose to update and accept the warning that yes, you want to make this change and boom, all the objects that have the return quick style assigned are updated with the new properties. Yes, you will want to also update the double quick style if you want to match what you have changed. And there you have some insight into how I use the Magic Wand Line tool in Stitch Artist Level 3. Be sure to check out my other videos on my Sew Bubbles YouTube channel.